Okay, today's theme is consolidation. It's easy to forget all of the things that you've been learning underneath the answer process. So I'm going to break it down for ourselves and just keep it nice and simple. So attacking a high, higher piece with a lesser piece. Also controlling nice juicy squares here. Going to simplify. Best to do that this way. I think his pawn's going to push because he wants to get the 20, 20 points up because our pawn takes, queen takes, then our king doesn't castle. It's not actually taking advantage of that, so we get to place our bishop here, which can defend when the pawn pushes, and then the bishop can take the queen. So that's okay. So consolidation is key. King safety is a very important subject. And it all seems quite repetitive in terms of the delivery, but it's that repetitive nature that then helps you to see even better ways of operating the systems that you're putting in place. Tucking the queen here. You could expect probably the pawn to drop so you can take our queen. It's not actually done that move the queen off to the far side. So focal point is the king area. They've not castled at this moment. Can we get to it? Bishop had sights on the pawn here. The queen's protecting now. So we can push on to the queen because we've got the support of the rook. Bishop is supporting this pawn. So the queen can drop back one to still maintain defense of this pawn. Queens aren't designed to protect pawns and that's what this queen is doing. So we can now push on to the bishop. Bishop's getting a little bit condensed in. And the queen looks like it's condensing itself in as well. But it does have a safe haven in this square. So we could push on to the bishop and actually win the bishop. But then we lose the rook. So we'd need to place our bishop somewhere more active. If we attack the bishop, the bishop takes and then it's an equal exchange. We could bring the bishop here. But then he's probably going to make space for his bishop so that it doesn't get trapped. Let's do that. So obvious choice is for him to move this pawn so his bishop doesn't get trapped. It's also thinking about castling. It's not actually doing that, it's attacking our bishop. So we're going to continue having this diagonal towards this pawn here that the queen is protecting. They must move this pawn or else their bishop does get trapped. So his knight is now attacking this pawn here with a two on one with his queen. So we're going to continue attacking the bishop because if he takes with the knight then the bishop can take, the queen escapes but we, we still get the pawn up and his queen unfortunately if they do take they do have a, we, they do have a bit of an issue, let's go here let's put the check on the king so then we still win the bishop anyway and potentially even the rook, but I think you'll go with a rook exchange on that side. So it was a move order thing, but it, it was imperative, I believe, that this pawn did move to give the bishop some space. Rather than attacking when you've potentially got a piece under attack, and your placement of your pieces isn't looking too good. So um, white square bishop could put a check on, but we'll take this bishop first. We're going to take with this pawn because obviously his rook would get taken with a check and we'd win the other rook as well. So they have to take with this pawn if they're going to take. Yeah, okay, so it's opened up a lot of space around their king area. And like I say, we could go and put a check on and win the queen because the bishop in front of the queen. So that was an okay build up of attacks and appropriate position play, consolidating what we've been learning. And put a check now, so I think the opponent may resign at this point. 
It's not to say that losing your queen is going to um, make you resign, you don't have to. Okay, so it looks like they have left the game in three, two, one. Yeah, there's a lot that don't know where the resign button is, which I find really funny. Because um, <clears throat> if I'm struggling in a game and I, I know full well I've got no chance, I'm just going to resign eventually, you know. <laughs> right, so the consolidation of the moves and removing pieces from the board strategically so that the opponent either capitulates, you know, resigns, leaves the game, or you're swarming the king area to basically go for a checkmate at some point this game had all of those um, components in there so really happy with that consolidation <clears throat>